Alright, I'm about ready to put the block together. I uh, yeah. went all the way around the edge with uh, the diamond file to get it nice and straight and flat and everything. And uh, there's no adhesive on the back. Everything's cleaned up. And I've been pulling off this tape, and I also just wanted to show you guys how nice and clean this stuff will come off, even though this has been baked at 500 degrees Fahrenheit twice now, or maybe, no, this one's only been done once over at Case Labs, this is the black part. But uh, it leaves the surface perfect and ready to go as a silicone adhesive. So now that's clean and ready to install. And if there's ever any adhesive left behind, a little trick is, is to use the tape itself to clean any little adhesive residue you might see. You can even see the old mark of the O-ring on it. It's an O-ring, alright. Take a look at this sucker and you go, oh, you want it to do what? So the deal is, is you don't want to twist your O-ring around. You can see this is a very strange material O-ring. It doesn't look like Buna rubber. It looks like some kind of neoprene type material. But uh, yeah, this is going to be real fun trying to get this to stay here. Let's see what happens. It's like a little racetrack. Well, they, they got like Nuremberg ring here. For the uh, O ring, which you call a Newberg ring O ring, it goes around some twists and turns here. Maybe, maybe it'll work. I, I have my doubts. Something this complicated, I have a feeling I'll be fumbling at this for a while. We'll see. Just keep on rolling with it and see where it goes. This is when you really need to have a prehensile tail to be able to help you grab something, hand you something. Oh lord, did I actually do it? No frickin' way did that actually go in there. There's just no way it would do that the first time around. No, not really. It didn't really thought about it. It's really close though. Mm. Okay, it is in the channel. Whether it's going to stay in the channel long enough for me to put the top on is another question. So here's the beautiful top. I'm going to try and put it down there as flat as possible so that it doesn't jump the ring out. Please, just go right in. Feels like the O-ring jumped out over on this side. This side went down, this side did not. That would be because the O-ring jumped out. Yes. Fun with Aqua Computer reassembly. I'll tell you something, man. If you don't have to take one of these apart, might want to avoid taking it apart. Oh my gosh, it's laying flat. Well, there you have it. And now I'm just going to put in these tasty little black screws that I obtained from McMaster. Oh man, that is looking very, very sexy indeed. Yes, I don't even want to touch it anymore. It's so pretty. Okay. Well, let's see if I like how it looks. You tell me. Is that going to look good or what? I think the edges are pretty nice and true and straight and clean and whatnot. And consider the fact that you're going to see the block basically on edge like this. So, or like this. 
possibly like this. I think it'll be very nice. All right, there you have it. All right, so here it is. Judging by the way the light's moving across the surface, it's in pretty good shape. Been wiped down. Here's the port part of it attached. This is the the weirdest thing about graphics cards, right? Everything hangs from the bottom. So you're just looking at the ugly PCB instead of this gorgeous water block. That's one down.